Welcome to this week's Elimination Tattoo. If you screw this up, you'll lose your shot at $100,000, a feature in Ink Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. You'll be judged by Oliver Peck, Chris Nunez, and myself. But we're not your only critics. Each week, you'll also be judged by America. Viewers at home will scour every detail of your elimination tattoos at inkmaster.spike.com and vote for the tattoo that they think is the best. America's vote will have a massive impact at the live finale. This week, we're testing your adaptability. Adaptability is the ability to work with any canvas and do any style tattoo on any part of the body. Today, you'll be going head to head on the same canvas at the same time. What? Because you must create interlocking tattoos. What? God. This is crazy. I've never done anything like this. Each of you must tattoo one of your canvas's forearms. Not only must each forearm stand alone as a complete piece, but when your canvas's forearms are touching, both tattoos must seamlessly connect to create one larger, impressive image. What the hell? You have to adapt to the canvas's needs, adapt in the drawing styles, adapt in the fact that these have to form together. This is just a cluster of all kinds of adaptability. That's gonna be hard. Yeah. You have to work together. If you do not match, you are out. This tattoo is a double-edged sword. On one hand, I want a teammate that I can line up a tattoo and do perfectly, but at the same time, I want somebody that I can beat. Let's meet your canvases. Eric, you won the Flash Challenge. You now have the power to assign all human canvases and determine who tattoos head-to-head -head on the same canvas. Oh, you're all 